we wake? Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Allison, if you're new here, and today we are getting into some deep, nitty-gritty home renovations. We bought a home built in 1965, and it needs a lot of work, and today we are starting a big, big, big project. The biggest project we've ever done in this house. Most expensive, all of the adjectives, and it's going to be happening first down in our garage. Now, the ultimate goal in this house is to build a new bathroom, but we have a few issues. We have sinking floors because our floor joists are so old and saggy and not great. And we also don't think those sinking floors can support the weight of an extra bathroom. So before we can start the fun project of actually building said bathroom, we need to have a big construction crew come in and fix all of our floors and re-support this house. Also in the garage, we have a nice beautiful pole in the middle of it that kind of really dips into the functionality of this space for us. It's harder to park your car in here. It kind of cuts down on how much space we have because we do like to use our garage as a gym, as like our tool zone, like a woodworking station for my husband, and ideally at least one car be in here too. So this uh, pole in the middle of the garage is really just kind of a bummer on everything. But long story short, we want a beautiful bathroom and to get that bathroom done, we have to do the most most expensive project hopefully this house will ever see in the basement garage so we're down here Christian is cleaning out all of his tools we are also getting ready for a dumpster to come to throw away a bunch of stuff the workbenches here and all of this stuff was left behind by the sellers of the house and we have a lot to work with in here we are in the garage this door right here goes to the basement where the laundry is and uh, we have cleared it out. This is all trash. A dumpster is coming today that we're gonna be filling with all of this garbage. And then all of the remaining insulation and drywall is coming down in here because we are fixing the floors. We're also having this beam removed. A uh, steel reinforced thing is going here, but uh, this is the floors for the main level of the house. We have a basement garage. So all of this is happening, which is gonna let us build a new bathroom. Very exciting, minor setback in our whole plan though is we've recently discovered a leak happening in our house not great it is with the laundry um these are the stairs you can see like this like sideways wood beam that's part of the stairs and the laundry sits underneath that in the basement and these old 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 pipes are leaking so we have a bucket here super fancy to catch all the drips because laundry has to happen we're having a baby soon lots of laundry is going to be going on um we're going to get a plumber out here to see if he can fix it but uh yeah Leak, official bucket. Always an adventure in this house. So the project hasn't even really begun yet and we already have a problem, but don't worry, we'll address the leak later on. It's kind of not a big deal overall. Uh, a big deal overall though is clearing this space out. Christian and I are big DIYers. We take pride in doing a lot of the things that we do in our home ourselves, but this was something that was just beyond the scope of things we could manage. We did not know a steel guy. We had, it was, it was more than we could take on. So we knew we had to hire a contractor to come out. We had a couple of different quotes, some guys we did not feel good about, and then we found one contractor who's been awesome. Like we are so, so pleased with working with them. Um, of course, renovations and these projects take longer than expected. They're more expensive than expected. So that's of course come up, but we're just happy to work with a good guy who has a good and like solid crew. But all that being said, we wanted to do as much to this space that we could ourselves. And one thing that could uh, lower the price tag of this project was if we did a lot of the demo ourselves. The ceiling of the garage was drywalled and there was insulation, and so Christian decided to take that upon himself. He removed all the drywall, he removed all the insulation, he got rid of all of the electrical wiring for the crew, so we got a little bit of a discount because Christian did all of this work himself. There's also a discount because we uh, took care of like the dumpster and disposal of all of these materials too, but Christian spent so 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 long down in the garage <laughs> he was working hard day and night to get this done there's also like a billion screws left behind from the drywall like this was not a fun or easy project and he tackled this no problem Okay, Christian just interrupted me upstairs. <laughs> 
to come down and check out what his progress looks like. And uh, he's discovered beans. Like these little white things are just like straight up like, I don't know, lima beans or something, or seeds, or black eyed peas. But the internet's telling him that uh, it probably is like mice at some point. Not recently, because there's no fresh droppings or anything. But at some point there were probably mice that uh, started stashing beans <laughs> in the insulation. You can see like a pile of them in there. And uh, Christian just said that he was just pulling this down and suddenly beans started raining down on him. So those are the joys of buying a house that's 60 years old. You learn things like mice have been stashing beans into insulation in the garage. But otherwise, this looks really good. I'm really excited. I think the guys are coming today to start on this project. Now the company we're working with is a smaller family owned company and so if they're not done with one project yet it'll take them a little bit longer to move on to the next one. So this happened to us. They were not quite done with their last project so it took them an extra day or two to get out to our house which was fine with us because it gave Christian some extra time to really wrap up and clean up all of the insulation and all of that fun stuff laying around on the floor. We also had a bit of a not fun discovery. We discovered a nice big crack in our foundation. Thankfully, it's not very wide or super concerning, but it was hiding behind this pegboard, so that was completely missed in our home inspection. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but we'll move on and survive from that. We're pretty sure it's caused by a tree that was in the front of our house where this is pushed up against. The roots got too big, put too much pressure on it, and then caused some cracking. So we've since killed the tree, <laughs> removed that, and hope that we don't have any other problems with this. It's a super small crack, so we should be fine, but still not a fun discovery. I'm also not filming any of the crew while they're doing their work, so I'm going to start giving updates at the end of the day once they've wrapped up and left each time. If I'm gonna love somebody, I just wanna love okay, this is the end of day one. They have built a wall on either side of this beam. I think I can just walk into here. So this is uh, being, where can I point? This is being removed, so they're putting a wall on either side while they reinforce this center beam with steel. I'll go show you the steel in a second. But uh, while they cut this out and put the steel in and stuff, these walls have to be up to support this place. So day one was building these two walls. And then if you can see this like lighter part of the wood, there were like little pieces of wood in between each of these joists. I don't know what they're called or what they do. All of those in the entire garage were knocked out. You can see they have all their lumber here and they've cut, these are like the little pieces that will replace what's happening. And I think these are the lumber pieces cut to size that are gonna go in sister each joist. So all we're doing is adding, I think another piece of wood to just add more strength, more durability. And the steel is being added down this middle big one. And we will hopefully, fingers crossed, have floors that aren't sagging and curving upstairs and we'll be able to bear a lot more weight when we build this new bathroom. So, day one update. Very exciting. Let's go see the steel. Okay, I can't say for sure exactly what is going on in here. We've had a few hiccups today, uh, day two of this project. Basically, they can't finish it right now because they need to demo out the bathroom we're getting rid of eventually. We can't demo that bathroom now because we need a bathroom. That's the only bathroom in this house that we're using. So they're trying to work around it. The steel, here, I'll show you behind me. Up here is that center beam that we're reinforcing with steel. They put the steel on this side of the beam because they can work on this side. There's no bathrooms over here. Um, and the reason is because really old houses were built with a mud pan of cement beneath them. So it's really hard to get the steel like wedged into where it needs to be. So this side of the wall does not have that problem. So they can go ahead and add the extra pieces of wood and sister every single one of these to reinforce the floors. They already started on that. Uh, today they mostly worked on getting this steel beam in. You can kind of see it wedged right here. Um, these temporary walls will eventually come down. Uh, you can see here is where they sistered it. This joist has not been sistered. It's a single piece of wood. These two joists, they did get sistered today. And this one is currently being leveled by this guy, this little jack stand basically, to make sure that it stays where it needs to go. They told Christian they might be able to wedge and chisel out some of the concrete mud pan to get the second piece of steel, this piece of steel, up in there. But even if they can do that, they can't sister these joists yet. And this is where we have the greatest amount of sagging. Um, the walls between our bathroom, or between our bedroom and the guest bath, really dip down really low. So 
that will have to happen once the old bathroom she is waving the <laughs> sorry madeline has been given full control of a water hose but uh this project will uh be much longer than we thought they're gonna come back tomorrow for a day three and then they're gonna take a day off and then come back on monday for a fourth day of work in here for only probably half to three quarters of the work they said that they would get done in two days. I also don't know exactly why this happened, but we had our water cut off for a couple hours today and they had to do some makeshift plumbing to be able to get the steel beam all the way where it needs to go. So we had a plumber in taking care of all of that. So that was a fun adventure. Yes, the narrow pipe going straight across. Did you say that to the camera? No, I'm not saying it to the camera. <laughs> Christian informed me it's because that copper pipe up there would go straight across from where the beam needs to go. So these tubes were added after the fact to let us still have wa running water, but not interrupt the steel beam. Christian also just asked if I'd want to share where the pipe was definitely going to leak. It's a good thing all of this plumbing will be torn out very soon. Good news is they got the second piece of steel in. Bad news is, is we have a hole straight through. You can see our garage all the way down there. That's like extension cords and stuff in our garage. But uh, they... They busted up the floor and Christian's gonna try to do his best to patch this basically. He's reassuring me that we're gonna go downstairs and see how structurally sound it actually is. But it is kind of funny. Uh, we were away for last night, so we are just seeing this now for the first time. And it's kind of funny to just see a giant hole in your bathroom floor. I just wanna love you right. Okay, one final update for this project. It is not completely wrapped up. I'll explain that when we go down to the garage, but I wanted to give one final overview of where we're leaving this project for now. Uh, first and foremost, they came in and did a little patch job on, oh gosh, I can peel this off, on the hole left in the ground. They came and just filled it with a little bit of subflooring and then some grout. They've assured me it's like stable and secure to walk on. Um, I still step over it every time, but at least we no longer have a gaping hole in the bathroom floor for right now. I'll also give you a sneak peek of the demo happening for the bathroom. Uh, it's gonna be happening here, so we're starting to tear these walls out in anticipation of that project, but that'll be a whole nother video talking about framing the bathroom, building the bathroom, the rough-in, all that stuff. And now out in the garage is where the most has happened. We have sistered all of the joists up to this joist. Uh, over here is where we have issues with the concrete mud pan and all of this plumbing. So this is why the whole project's on hold for a long time until that bathroom is demoed out we will not be fully done resupporting the floor joists. But otherwise, all of these are really good. You can even see, like, do you see the gap between this new piece of wood and this older one? That's because this much space is how much our floor had sunk. So every time they installed a piece of wood, they would jack up the new piece of wood to make it as level as possible. You can even see, like, there were some gaps that were so big, they had to do an extra little piece of wood between that and the foundation of the house. And the guy said they did their very best on leveling the floors, but it's not going to be perfect because they literally started lifting our house off of the foundation to get them level. Like, it's a 60-year-old home. It's very settled. We're kind of on a hill. So they did their very best, but it's still not exactly perfect. But we're still very happy with that progress. Um, another fun update is our washing machine is on the other side of this hole in the wall, which you can see straight into our basement now. But we had to replace all of the plumbing that's right here. You can see all this new fancy plastic plumbing, PEX plumbing, PVC, one of those. We had to replace the drain to our laundry because that was flooding, but we got that fixed. So we have functioning laundry and we kind of just need to patch the hole in the wall left behind here. And then the only other update happening right now is that uh, we have these two steel beams that went in or C channels, I learned is what they're called. We have two C channels on either side. And the whole point of these is to resupport this wooden metal piece or the wooden piece in the middle. So eventually this pole in the very middle of our garage can be removed without damaging the structure of the house. And you can see all of the sister joists are coming in to those C channels. So it's all kind of like a combined project, which is why all of it's happening at once. But the only problem left behind is the steel is kind of just floating right here. Like it's not touching anything. So it butts up against the man door to our garage and they're currently trying to troubleshoot a solution to support the steel right here. The guy had his steel people come out and their original plan is not gonna fit around the door or whatever. So they're still brainstorming how this side of things are going to be fixed. 
So in the meantime, we still have things going on out here. They need to get metal hangers to put around each sister joist to like further support it. We need to support the steel around the mandor. We need to demo out our old bathroom to put the sisters, the to sister the joists over there. And until all of that's done, we will have these two lovely temporary walls in our garage until then. But any progress is progress in this house and I'm happy with that. And I'm just excited to get this bathroom moving along. Make sure you're following over on Instagram to see fun things like our bathtub selection and our like shower fixture selections. I've been sharing all of those things real time as we buy them and get them in the house and like sharing real time updates on this project because it's a very ongoing, ongoing project. But thanks for following along. The most expensive thing we are doing to the house. Hopefully, hopefully this is the worst we have to do because this is very, very, very expensive. But it's gonna be good to have this done and kind of be able to move forward with everything else we have planned. So thanks for hanging out, thanks for following along, and hopefully next time I see you, we will have a lot more happening upstairs with a new bathroom being framed. And if you're not following along, we'll also probably have another addition to the family. <laughs> so that's a wrap, I'll see you guys next time, bye. <laughs>